Welcome back to Resin with me, everyone. Uh, so today's project is gonna be something brand new, something I've never even attempted before, and that's the Petri, Petri dish uh, coasters, I think it's called, using the Art Resin ink sinker to get some really cool designs with the colors. So that's really neat. Um, I'm excited, a little nervous too, just because I've never done it. So I did something a little interesting with my resin today because it is ridiculously hot in Austin now. It's pretty much 100 degrees every day. Um, I decided to leave my the, the containers of the parts, the resin and the hardener, out on the patio for like 30 minutes to see what that, <laughs> what that would do. And it made it so runny. It's crazy the difference between having mixing it from inside and then mixing it while it sat from when it sat outside. It's crazy, it's such a difference. Um, so I don't know what kind of effect that'll have, but it was definitely <laughs> easier to mix. So um, yeah, I will go ahead. I mixed, let's see, 14 ounces of resin. Honestly, I just don't remember how much these coasters took. So if it's not enough, you know, I can always just add a little bit later since the bottom is gonna be the top anyway. But yeah, I, I'm gonna pop a few bubbles um, in this resin and then we can get started. All right, so I popped some of those bubbles. Again, since it's very, very runny, they just kind of uh, came up to the top a lot faster than when it's colder. So, um, I think you just, you just pour into your coasters. Okay, so um, they're not 100% full, but they are pretty full. Um, I might take a little bit out of this one and put it over here. Just getting eye level with it, it looks like it has a little more. All right, good amount of bubbles are popped, so we can go ahead and start the coloring now. Um, I've done kind of like a rainbowish theme just because, you know, I love colors, love colorful things, especially, especially in the warmer seasons. Um, so I've got my red here, and I think what I'm going to do, it's kind of hard to decide. Um, because I don't know if I want to do all of one color first or do one whole coaster first. Um, but I think I'm going to go with all of one color first. So I'm shaking up my alcohol ink. And I believe you just put drops into directly into the resin. And then, I, that's odd, I was expecting it to spread out more. So hopefully I can get the drops of the ink sinker right over the color. We can try. Well actually, let me go ahead and do all of the red first and then I'll go in with the ink, ink sinker. Okay, now time for ink sinker. Very nervous, never used it before. Okay, so there is the red. Let's <laughs> move on to blue. What is, what's the actual rainbow? <laughs> Let's try actual rainbow sequence. Okay, I always go Roy G. Biv, so <laughs> let's do orange next then. All right, there is orange done. Next color is yellow. So 
so you can see that the ink sinker actually like it seems very attracted to the alcohol ink because as soon as I pour one drop of alcohol ink kind of close to the ink sinker that's already in there it like immediately gets drawn to it so um, I really don't know how much of the ink sinker you're supposed to put I think it's supposed to be around one drop per little drop of alcohol ink All right, next I'm doing green, and for this one I'm actually gonna do two shades of green because this one is really dark, and I'm hoping that by, or it's a lemon yellow, I'm hoping that by adding both of them, maybe it'll end up coming out to be more like a lime green color. Right, so we'll move on to blue next but I mean it looks pretty cool from the top <laughs> I hope the bottom turns out the way it's supposed to as well okay last color is purple So does anyone know what happens if like it looks kind of clear in one section and it what happens if you add more color and then more ink sinker like does that do anything I guess I can try right okay I think I'll leave it at that because I'm probably adding too much liquid for these to cure properly so I guess we'll find out um, but I don't know if I'm supposed to heat these after you know to pop any bubbles would any bubbles even come up should I test test a patch okay I don't think it does anything <laughs> um, so they're, I'm done working on them for now. Um, I really, really hope I get a nice effect on the bottom. But you know, if not, it was still a learning experience and we can always try again. You never know unless you try. So I will bring you all back, of course, once these are fully cured and I can get them out of the mold and we'll see, we'll see what we come up with. Welcome back y'all, it's the next day and um, these look really interesting. I have kind of peeked through through the silicone mold at what's on the bottom, um, I guess technically the top. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to pull these out. Um, I think because how it looks on the back side, I'm gonna go in and add like maybe a silver coat on the back, especially because um, there's a little bit of a a ridge right here so it, it has space basically is what I'm trying to say is it has a little bit of space for us to add in a top coat so I think that's what I will do but I do want to pull these out already so we can see what they look like I'm excited so fingers crossed it actually looks cool and interesting Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, look at the um, the tops. Oh, whoa, that is so weird looking. <laughs> so I will give you kind of a close up. I know it's not really focusing, but look at that, isn't that like, neat looking I guess I see why they call it a petri dish because it looks like I don't know it kind of does look like a science experiment oh and you can see how like you know it, it started up here and it fell down to the bottom 
and that's why that stuff is called ink sinker but wow that's very neat so interesting wow it came out you guys it came out there's a lot of white I will say I don't know that it's supposed to have that much of the white exposed but yeah it's it's cool and this one's a little different um, so it doesn't have as many sorry there's something on there um, all of this stuff on my parchment paper is getting on here so it doesn't have as many of like the little uh, spots that came all the way almost to the surface but they look really cool note to self don't put it on on top of anything that's gonna stick yeah those are just wow I mean for it being my very first time ever working with this I think they they came out pretty nice you can see in there again I think that's actually kind of my favorite part is looking through the side and seeing how it like starts to go down it's oh these are so cool I'd like to try them again so you can see here in the green it looks like the darker green kind of sunk all the way to the bottom but yeah I'll have to get you all a close-up of what they look like on top it's the neatest the neatest thing ever so um, well maybe not ever but I think it's pretty cool so yeah I do think I am still gonna add silver on the back uh, just because there is that little bit of a um, not hole but you know a little little area where I can add some and just to cover this up because I don't think that looks very nice that's the cool part so that's what we want to see uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add some silver to the back and then I'll kind of just bring you all in for a close-up when I'm done with that and and show you the finished product hello everyone so it is the next day and I did go ahead and add the silver to the back of the coasters um I don't really think that it was worth it because I just don't think that it made enough of a difference to go through the extra effort so I think in the future I would just mix up enough resin to completely fill up those molds but yeah I just wanted to bring you in for a close-up and, and show you how cool these look up close I love them it's uh, they have like this uh you know kind of a 3d effect if you can see the sides of them and you see that resin how it kind of made these like streaks but yeah they are so so cool I don't think that I would put these up on my Etsy shop only because when I added the silver to the back it did kind of fall over on some places and um, this one I don't know if you can tell but it got on the front a little bit as well so I mean it was a really really great learning experience and I, I'm excited to try this method again um, just maybe a little more refined so yeah here we have our finished product it, it's I think they're probably the most unique coasters that I've made thus far so <laughs> I'm very excited to try this technique in other ways and see what we can come up with but yeah I hope you all will join me back whenever I have my next video and I will see you all then have a great day